Hi guys. So today we are going to pick up some answer writing for the upcoming RBI examination. You all must be aware that RBI is now a descriptive paper in phase two, and therefore we need to be prepared in advance for answer writing. What I'm going to do today is write a, an answer live in front of you so that you guys can understand simultaneously how is it that I am processing some information, how and how is it that I, as a teacher, am dealing with a question and writing the answer. It will give you a very good perspective on not only the topic that I'm going to be covering, but also the way of approaching an answer. So let us begin. This is the question that has been uh, created by me. The question is from Global Financial Crisis 2008, which is a new topic in your syllabus of finance. The question says, what were the fundamental reasons behind the global financial crisis of 2008? This is number one. First question. There is another question here and that is why it is a 15 marker. Why is it called as the Great Recession? What were the fundamental reasons? So number one, you have to answer the fundamental reasons behind the global financial crisis of 2008. And number two, you have to answer why is it that it's called the Great Recession? So the, what are the keywords here? Global financial crisis, great recession. These are the keywords. I would, as a student, uh, write simply what, what uh, the global financial crisis of 2008 is or why is it called as the great recession. That is all that I'm going to write in the introduction to keep it very, very simple and therefore not to confuse the examiner. So let's start. I would rather, I would, I would, let's say, start with the global financial crisis of 2008 is called as the biggest recession. Why is it called as the Great Recession? So it's called as the biggest recession or the Great Recession since the Great Depression of 1929. So here I'm keeping the statement also very, very small. The global financial crisis of 2008 is called as the biggest recession since uh, the Great Depression of 1929. That's why it's called as the Great Recession. It's very obvious. Let's say, let's move forward. It started uh, in the US. So we are talking about now the global financial crisis 2008 and affected the entire world economy due to, let's say, interconnected trade and financial markets. So now what I'm doing here is I'm explaining financial markets. I'm explaining uh, why is it called as the biggest recession or the great recession because of course it spread in, in the entire world. It was long uh, and it was very very intense. Okay, The roots, now let's try and come back to the global financial crisis because that is the first question and that is what we want to write about. The roots of the crisis, let's say lie in uh, the dot com bubble. Okay, so now I I'll, 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 I would want to start with the reasons behind the global financial crisis of 2008 and because it's a chain event and it's supposed to be in sequence that is why I would rather start with the dot com bubble and low, uh, low lending rates. Okay, so this is the first reason that I would want to give the dot com bubble affected the US economy at the turn of the century okay in order to recover from the crisis the federal reserve reduced policy rates to record low levels, it resulted in availability of cheap funds for consumption and investment. Okay, so I have given a perspective here that the low lending rates, which were a result of the dot com bubble, were one of the major reasons of the global financial crisis because it started the vicious cycle of low rates and then uh, heavy lending, heavy borrowing for the housing market and then the crisis. Okay. 
द सेकेंड आई थिंक रीजन कैन बी लीगल और कैन बी बेस्ड अपॉन लेजिसलेशन सो द ग्लास स्टीगल एक्ट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ एम बी एस दीज कैन बी टू सेपरेट रीजन ऑल्सो वी आर नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द फंडामेंटल रीजन बिहाइंड द क्राइसिस ओके लेट एस ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो ग्लास स्टीगल एक्ट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ एम बी एस मैनेज मोडगेज बेस्ड सिक्योरिटीज आई फॉर द फुल फॉर्म ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड द बैंक्स आइडेंटिफाइड एंड अनटैप्ड an untapped housing market and started lending cheap housing loans okay they soon they were soon left with a large inventory of mortgages right at the same time so i'm connecting them because i have made it into one point they can be separate points also there will be some repetition there but it's fine at the same time some provisions of glass steagall act that restricted the banks to participate in financial markets were repealed okay now in order to make money on mortgages lying idle with them the banks converted converted them into mortgage backed securities mbs you can write the full form as well through the process of securitization okay so what am i doing here i am also showing to the examiner that i am aware about the basics here what is securitization okay these derivatives i am using keywords here these derivatives started trading in the financial markets okay so we've got the second reason now before moving forward let me just let's do one thing let's try and summarize all the reasons that we have okay so we want to understand what are the fundamental reasons behind the financial crisis and we also want to write about why is it called as the great recession what are the fundamental reasons let's say number one low lending rates one okay second would be the gs act repealed repealing of the gs act third is creation of mbs they can be two separate points it can be one point if you want to correct it fourth is subprime lendings right very direct reason and next is crash of the housing market so these are the reasons for the global financial crisis and why is it called as the great recession because it had it was very intense it was very long and it spread throughout the world so we can say spreading throughout the world is the most important point here similar bubbles in the in 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 other developed in other developed nations uh, were also found and they also they also burst and so it had a contagion effect okay then uh, loss in value loss in value in terms of money in terms of dollars that is very important because that shows that it was huge in its intensity right unemployment is a very very important reason because the unemployment faced in the great Re depression was also very high and the same happened here okay debt to gdp ratio it came up after the great depression and it came up after the financial crisis also okay uh then we can talk about india's india india's india's indian economy is drop so the growth in indian economy how much did it drop by okay and then inflation we can talk about inflation as well okay so these are all the reasons that we figured out that can say that uh the great depression was similar to the great recession or the global financial crisis can be called as the great recession because it was very similar to the great depression in intensity as well as its 
length of time so these are all the reasons i hope you have written them down okay and now we will talk about all of them remember that it's a very long answer it's supposed to be a 600 word answer and therefore i'm writing in more details otherwise i would i would have written a very small answer okay the third point here is subprime lendings so subprime lendings ki gayi thi they were made as demand for mbs increased banks started lending to subprime borrowers right in order to keep supplying mbs to the financial market so this was the reason that subprime lendings were made mbs of various kinds i wanted to explain about uh, collateralized debt obligations and because it is a very important concept of various kinds were also bundled together to create uh, cdos you should be writing the full form here but i'm not i'm trying to write it fast collateralized debt obligations in the mbs of various kinds were also bundled together to create cdos in the financial markets okay trading of these securities as triple a bonds provided profits to traders and banks but the situation of underlying mortgages started mortgages started deteriorating due to their sub prime nature i think very simple simple answer okay this is the third reason and the fourth one is crash of the housing market that was the reason fundamental reason as defaults of loans increased or defaults on loans increased the housing market crashed starting a contagion effect where the mbs and cdos also crashed okay it is called as the great recession due to its now i'm mentioning it here intense and long drawn impact on the global economy okay and now we talk about the reasons as to why is it called as the one second let me move it up why is it called as the great recession so what are the reasons here similar housing bubbles in countries across europe were also found such bubbles burst and affected the entire european economy increasing unemployment inflation and sinking economic growth i think that's a very simple simple point that there were similar housing bubbles in countries across europe and when they burst it resulted in high unemployment high inflation and low economic growth okay and then uh, the next point was about value in the short term about 8 uh 8 trillion dollars in value was wiped out from the us financial markets between 2007 and 2009 i think that's a simple point we're just stating a fact uh, if you're not aware about the fact no problem you can create some or more but facts provide credibility to the answer that is why in every topic that you read you should have some facts in hand unemployment soared around the world around the world crossing 10% mark in the US in 
so that is about unemployment fourth point is about what was the fourth point about debt to gdp ratio debt to gdp ratio also soared or went up you can use a different word after the crisis okay we can take the example of china in china the debt to gdp ratio increased from 145 percent in 2007 to 256 percent almost double in 2017 okay so in a decade uh, it has increased if you are aware about just the global numbers you can mention just them as well globally globally uh, it has increased from 97 percent you can remember it as 100 percent also to 170 approximately 170 percent okay almost doubled what is the fifth point about india indian this is very important indian economic growth dropped from nine percent pre-crisis to below five percent post crisis very very important point and similarly inflation numbers in india inflation shot up globally as well as in india in india wpi peaked at almost 13% in 2008 okay high inflation now we want to talk about stagflation of course combined with low growth pushed many economies into stagflation okay wonderful right so we are done with almost all the points which can prove that it can be called as the great recession and simultaneously the fundamental reasons behind the financial crisis now let's summarize due to the above reasons the 2008 crisis is we are again proving it is often termed as the great recession it impacted the entire world and the after effects were felt so length of time and the intensity for nearly five years around the world we're talking again reinforcing the same thing now if you want to give a future perspective you can i have given it here let's say i'm giving it here with the with the covid uh, okay lead leverage boom we we are in the middle of another bubble okay so i'm giving it a uh, a futuristic perspective by saying that we might be in a similar bubble if you don't want to write that you might not it doesn't matter what is the gist what is the learning the the biggest and the most important learning here number one identify the keywords fundamental reasons behind the global financial crisis so in short reasons behind the 2008 crisis okay that's what you have to write so you figure out the reasons okay lending rates were low uh, legislations were repealed subprime lendings were given the housing market crashed major reasons okay number two why is it called as the great recession I have figured out two reasons okay because of intensity because it was so intense uh, spread uh, throughout the world and secondly because it was long it was very difficult for people and it was long because it affected inf inflation in the long run it affected unemployment in the long run it uh, took out a lot of value and the debt to GDP ratio has increased even after the crisis for a long period of time so these are the major reasons and we have to write a 600 word answer i think this is somewhere around 600 500 to 600 so this should do okay so this is the way that you can write answers better in the examination you have to practice like this give it about 30 minutes we have i think taken about 30 minutes to answer this question 20 minutes so even if you spend 20 minutes i think it's good enough if you spend 30 minutes also it's decent for the rb examination I hope the session was useful. I hope uh, these kind of question answer series are going to be very, very helpful for your examination. Take care. Bye-bye.